Hello everybody, it's Maria, and today I'm presenting my Women in Science project, which I'm doing on Rita Levy Montalcini. She's most well known for the discovery of nerve growth factor. Today I'll be telling you a little bit about her life. Alright, so now I'm going to tell you about Levy's life, a little bit about her biography. So she was born on April 22nd, 1909. She was born in Turin, Italy and her parents were both Italian and Jewish, with some roots dating back to the Roman Empire. Her parents were Adelmo Talcini, a painter, and Adelmo Levy, an electrical engineer and mathematician. In her te teenage years, she actually considered becoming a writer, but after seeing a close friend, family friend die of stomach cancer, she actually was inspired by this you know, traumatic event to attend the University of Turin and try out medical school. So she was inspired by this to pursue science and medicine. Her family and her father mostly discouraged her from attending college, but eventually he supported her aspiration to become a doctor. While at the University of Turin, the neurophysiologist named Giuseppe Levy sparked her interest in the developing nervous system. So in 1952, she did her most important work, which had to do with isolating nerve growth, growth factor, which is one of the things that she's most famous for, was for the discovery of nerve growth factor. From observations of certain cancerous tissues, she was able to discover this. By transferring pieces of term tumors to chick embryos, um, Levy was actually, she established, established a mass of cells that was full of nerve fibers. The nerve growth produced by the tumor wasn't like anything she had ever seen before, which made her want to investigate further. The nerves took over areas that would become other tissues and even entered veins inside the embryo. But nerves did not grow into the arteries, which would flow from the embryo back to other tissues and back to the tumor. This suggested to her that the tumor itself was releasing a substance that was stimulating the growth of nerves. So, after 1956, she was made a full professor. And then in 1962, she established, established a second laboratory in Rome and divided her time there and in St. Louis. From 1961 to 1969, she directed the Research Center of Neurobiology in Rome, and from 1969 to 1978, the Laboratory of Cellular Biology. After she retired, actually, in 1977, she was appointed as a director of the Institute of Cell Biology by the Italian National Council in Rome. She later retired from that position, but continued to be a guest in universities to educate young doctors. In the 1990s, she was one of the first scientists to point out the importance of the mass cell in human pathology. In the same period in 1993, she identified an indigenous um, compound as an important modulator of the cell. Understanding this mechanism actually initiated a new era of research into this compound, which was which resulted in more discoveries regarding its mechanisms and benefits and a far better understanding of the system and a new liposomal product uh, formulations designed specifically for improved absorption and bioavailability. So all these, all the research that she did actually um, led to even more research and more discoveries and more curiosity about the subject. So here's a little bit about the awards and recognitions that Levy received. So in 1963, she became the first woman to actually receive the Max Weinstein Award, which was given to her by the United Cerebral Palsy Association. She received this due to her significant contributions into the neurological research. In 1966, she was elected a fellow of the American Academy of Arts and Sciences. In 1968, she actually became the 10th woman elected to United States National Academy of Sciences. In 1983, she was awarded the Louisa Gross Horowitz Prize from Columbia University, and Levy actually earned a Nobel Prize with Stanley, her partner, in 1986 due to their great discovery of North Growth Factor. In 1987, she received the National Medal of Science, which is actually the highest American scientific honor. In 2006, Levy received the degree Honoris Causa in Biomedical Engineering, from the Polytechnic University of Turin, which was actually um, in her native city where she was born. In 2009, she received the Leonardo da Vinci Award from the, United, from the European Academy of Sciences. And in 2011, 
at the Sapienza University, she received the PhD Honoris Causa from McGill University of Canada. So, Levy was really an important woman in science, and she made many, many scientific breakthroughs in neurobiology.